Hey guys, what's going on? Foxic Core here, uh, bringing you guys a couple reviews on a couple different things. Um, let's start off. I'm just gonna go into Battle Monsters uh, to show you guys the first thing. So, uh, the first thing I'm gonna be showing you is um, a new spell. Um, it's right here. Overcharge, wondrous, whatever. Uh, it's 559 SP. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of stuff to cast. Um, I'm honestly not even going to show it to you because uh, it takes so much SP. And um, to be honest, uh, I, when I first used it, I thought it was going to be just this crazy healing spell, you know, that heals me by like an absurd amount, you know, like full health because of all the stuff it takes. It only healed me about 600. Um, I don't know if it was just like a bad, a bad heal, but you know, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stick the great, uh, the great pumpkin patch. That's not even worth it to me. Um, so I would say don't get it. Don't waste your Z tokens on it. Um, I know it's probably been out for a while. Um, I'm kind of late on this video, but if you're still thinking about it, do not get it. Um, just don't keep your great pumpkin patch or your heal mortal wounds. Um, don't get this, this spell. Okay, so, um, we're just gonna finish this guy off, and then, uh, get a, stack up some SP while fighting this guy, and then we will talk about, um, the, what is it, the new, the new armor. Um, there's a, there was a war going on, uh, the war is over, um, I saw... BBFM do a video about it. I watched his review on the, uh, both armors that you get from from the war. Uh, I didn't get the water armor because I watched BBF, uh, BBFM's video on it, and it didn't what didn't impress me at all. So I did get the other armor, the darkness armor, which is the one I'm going to show you guys. Um, I think it's really really good, well rounded armor. Uh, it's just uh, it's pretty much just like the Epig. Um, it's just darkness, and you'll see you'll see what it looks like. Uh, in just just a few seconds I'm just gonna heal up and it's a darkness uh, armor so I'm going to go attack the uh, Lucian clan um, probably gonna have to fight one of the uh, the shadow things first so um, we'll do that quick just give us give us uh, a little bit more a little bit more SP here so Lucian and uh, oh no you get to fight Cy Cyclops first which is great all right, it is called the legend, uh, legendary, legendary, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a dairy, as in like cow. Um, you can obviously see it's a cow. Uh, I think, I think the armor looks pretty cool. Um, I think they made the uh, udders a little bit too like, like in your face. <laughs> kind of hard to, I don't know. It's really awkward to stare at them for some reason. Might just be me, but. Um, yeah, so I think it looks pretty cool other than that. Like, I like the nose, big nose ring, you know. It actually looks like a darkness armor. Um, if you want to compare it to the Epig, there's the Epig. Uh, they stand the same way. Um, they also attack the same way. It's just that um, the Epig does not have a skill because it has the hog wild thing. When this one actually has a skill, which hits an only darkness. Um, so, uh, just... To show you the basic attacks, it hits just like the Epig does. Um, as you can see, it hits. That was kind of a lucky strike, so that doesn't really count. Um, but it does hit pretty well, to be honest. Uh, there's 296, 297. Uh, we'll get him down a little bit more. He's hitting kind of big on me, though, so I might have to hurry it up. Uh, 407, lucky strike, 248. So it hits pretty well. Um, I'm only using magic, so uh, I'm assuming if he had melee, it hit higher. But uh, here's the skill. It takes uh, 479 SP, so that's it's quite a bit, but there you go. Uh, it hits three times, it missed the one. Uh, he takes harm damage, he has bleeding on him. As you can see, it hit extremely high, it was like a 600 and then I think a 500. Uh, the third hit did miss, but that probably would have hit around a 4 to uh, 800 as well. Um, so that's amazing. Um, it, as you can see, it hits extremely, extremely well. Uh, we're just going to switch to White Knight Z just to defend ourselves from this guy. Um, 
but as you can see, it hits really, really well. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the defense darkness, I forgot to show you. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, uh, what, what's my darkness shield? I don't even. I don't think I have my darkness shield e equipped actually. Uh, no, I don't. Um, without any shield, the darkness is 44. I don't have my darkness shield equipped, but the frostfit one does have some darkness. Uh, so it's 32 percent. Um, I know with a darkness shield, I can get it down to 14. I think 14 or 13 uh, percent. I think that was the same as BBFM could 12 or 13. So um, yeah, it actually has pretty. Uh, pretty good darkness defense, and I think its secondary is Earth. Um, I have the Epig for Earth, but if you don't have another Earth armor, then this could also count as your Earth armor. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty good weapon, or I mean, armor. So, special attack is good. Uh, defenses are good. Uh, it's a two-hit armor, which is always, always a bonus. Um, so, at the end of the day, I would definitely say get this armor. Um, don't even... Don't even get the spell. It's absolutely not worth it. I guarantee you will regret getting the spell. Um, but definitely get the armor and uh, yeah, have a blast with it. So that's it for today's video, guys. Um, you know, I haven't uploaded in a month or about that uh, because, I don't know, Battleon just isn't putting content out that I find very interesting anymore. But uh, this was definitely cool. Um, I really liked how they brought back the feel of the Epig because I love that armor. So... Um, that's the video for today guys. Uh, I'll probably probably put out another video this week um, You know just kind of mess around or maybe next week. Anyways, thanks again guys. This is Fox AQ core Fox out